So hey, Happy New Year, New Year's Eve. This is the last video for 2019. I've got this old TV set here. And I'm going to see if I can get it to work. But, in the past my wife was doing some resets on some things and she got new battery packs for a bunch of things that she was doing. And she was to destroy or get rid of the old battery packs so I kept a couple of them around for the batteries so believe it or not these are these batteries are still good so this TV Ben we're talking about the TV this TV it has a cord right here that you plug in but I don't have the cord. I think I got one that will match it, but I just don't have one right now. But it was also a battery operated TV, and the batteries go in here. I think it takes six batteries, maybe eight. I'm going to try these batteries and see if I can get it to work. And this is what the front looks like, and it's a it's a AMF AMFM radio and a TV. So. I'm just going to take these batteries out of this case and then put them in here and see if I can get them to get, a, get the TV to fire up and work. I know what you're seeing, you're saying that's old analog TV, but you know there's still some analog stations out there. And I'm not going to do it this video, but you can connect. Uh, a box, a converter box for this TV, and that you can watch anything on this TV. You can watch on any other TV. You're just adding a tuner to the TV, which that's what I keep telling. That's what I keep preaching to all my people is make sure when you get a new TV, it has a TV tuner in it because even the new ones, they don't all have TV tuners. So now let's just see how many batteries this takes. I'm going to lay it down on the front. Shouldn't hurt it. And let's see. Okay, these all ones go this way. One, two, three. And plug it in. Just like that. And let's see, let's do the same thing here. One, two, three. And this one goes the opposite way. Goes just like that. And then one, two, three. I can count to three, hey? Okay? And this one goes in here. Now we're going to put the back back on it. Now we're going to check it out and see what happens if anything happens. Let's see, power. Power is on. Let's, oh, it's got a cassette player too, a cassette deck. So let me see here where it says, uh, let's see, battery. A, B, speaker, video hold. Is there a button here somewhere that says battery or power? That's bright and dark. Let's just see, radio. Hmm. No, where's the volume at? That's tuning. That's TV. Hit the TV button. FM stereo. Getting nothing out of that. Let's see.
battery and charge. Hey, there's a penny in there. Hmm. Wonder how that got in there. Okay, got it out of there. Well, here's another volume of balance. UHF, VHF, TV, power. I'm getting nothing. Antenna or internal, external, internal. I don't see it. Well, this old Emerson TV seems like it might be done. I'm going to take it apart and see what's wrong with it. Son of a gun. I was hoping it would just start working. So, let's put the antenna back down. Not working. Circle hole. Oh, what's that? Mm -hmm.
Hmm. Hmm. The belly and battery charger is designed for Emerson lead acid batteries model only. Do not overcharge the battery. Refer to the battery instruction sheet. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. This has a place for another battery. I hear a noise. See what happens when I hit the TV button. <laughs> it works! It came on! It works! <laughs> now nah, I gotta see if I can get any stations. It's got UHF, VHF. I know there's not many stations you get anymore. I was just seeing if there was anything that would come up on it. Let's see. I'm going to try this one. VH, that's a VHF. No, UH, uh, UHFH. And just straight out UHF. No, I'm not getting anything, but I'm going to put a converter box on it next. Not on this video, but on my next video that I do about this. But hey, uh, at least the radio works. Let me turn it back down. Ooh. And do FM. <laughs> so, out of the trash, it's... I don't know, probably 30 years old, 40 years old, put batteries in it, 
It didn't work the first time because down in the very bottom there was a slot for one more battery down in the bottom and I overlooked it. So, but, so it took seven batteries, seven batteries. And uh, I'm going to hook a converter box up to this and see what kind of picture we're going to get with us next. So check out my next video. This is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the uh, channel. And I'll have another video for you soon. You guys have a fantastic day. This is fun messing around with this old electronic stuff. <laughs>